you just hit the nail on the head. We're emotional, right? Like, I mean, we have emotions just like everyone else. And wise investors recognize that and check those emotions. And mm-hmm. I'll give you an example is like, we've got a property right now that I drove by for years and I always wanted this property. It's an art deco house. It's really unique. It's cool. It's on campus in Norman. We we bought it or earlier this year, remodeled it and have it as an Airbnb right now. And the truth is, is we're not getting our highest return on investment. And I love that property. It's one of my favorite properties that I own, but I'm selling it. Like we're working right now with somebody that's going to be buying it because it's not giving me the highest return on investment, despite the fact that it is emotionally satisfying for me. So sometimes you have to put your emotions aside and make the best decision as an investor. 